All right, guys, y'all ready to knock the ball out of the park right now? You ready just to pull the veil off everybody? Because in the in the end of the world, the Lord God sees past the flesh. He sees everything everyone's done, every word you've spoken. I know that's hard to believe, right? But I can absolutely guarantee you it's true. You have your own doppelganger, and you have your own worm in the pit feeding off you. That's the system. Just think of the, the left eye going to the pit to a worm, and there's a every single thing you do is recorded. Unless you kill the connection to the pit, to her, come out of her, my people. The only way to come out of her is to turn back, turn back to the Lord your God from heaven. Because she, twin female energy, occupies the pit. Hell hath enlarged herself beyond measure. So it is male and female. It is a war between male and female energy within the host body system. Angelic is male energy. Demonic is twin female. Then you have male comes into the system and you have male inside. The male energy comes into a box called the host body that's made by her. So see, she owns she owns the apartment that you're in, your your body, your your house your dungeon, whatever you want to call it, your body is a house, it's a dungeon, it's a box, it's a shell, it's a peel, it's a sleeve, and you are in your sleeve, box, shell, whatever you want to call it, and she owns it. That's why she claims to be God, because it's she owns the box. So here in this world, if you serve her, then you're serving the one that can give you all kinds of stuff. You know, like Diddy does and LeBron and DiCaprio and Oprah and all these people that are sellouts. They're money sellouts and they'll do evil, evil, evil things. But they all protect each other and they're all protected by her. So a bunch of liars that lie for each other. Let me show you something. Here's a, here's a Diddy and let me show you his, uh, his tattoo. There it is. Look, Diddy, she she got my back. She got my back. There is that Azili Dantor I showed you in the last video. The Black Madonna, she got my back. There it is. Uh, and you know what? They'll try, oh, you're being racist. No, I'm, I'm calling you out. That's Genesis 1. That's their female from Genesis 1. She got my back. There it is. That's who they serve. See it right there? Okay, well, let me show you these other guys. Let me show you some of her, some of the other guys that uh, are right in there with him. LeBron, he is very vocal and very outspoken. He hates white people. He doesn't, he doesn't want any white people even telling him what to do on a team, coaches, whatever. But there's LeBron and Diddy. You can see videos of LeBron. There's no party like a Diddy party. Let me show you this. You see this Vogue magazine? You see the way they lined up the O and the G? They did it to do this. I put a little tip there and a little tip there. To give LeBron horns representing the Genesis 1, that is Izzy Lee Dantor's race, Genesis 1. The natural body, she owns it. There is LeBron on the cover of Vogue. Look at this, perfect fit. What are they insinuating by putting Giselle Bunchen right here and perfect fit? I'll tell you what they're insinuating. That the serpent race impregnated the angelic race, which is Adam and Eve, that came into the system as God's plan for redemption. First comes the natural man, second comes the Lord from heaven. 1 Corinthians 15 45. So here it is. See? Devil horns, and here's the white girl. Let's impregnate her. And that, w that represents the impregnation of Eve. From the serpent race and then adam impregnates her and she has had her paternal super fecundation twins but i see i see what they're doing i can see it it's easy you know what let me give you a quick example this shirt right here my motorcycle jersey thing fast house fast house looks like a, a skull wearing a bandana all you have to do is invert the image to see what it is let me show you because this is who they are I, the reason i want to show you my shirt is because this is who they are watch you see it that's that's a face 
Those are the eyes. That's the open mouth. See it? It's two faces. It's not just one. It's one right side up the other way. And then this way, it's smiling. Death is smiling. See it? They're laughing at us because they've inverted us. That's why the image of the virgin right here, because the, the virgin right here is no different than what's on Diddy's back right here. Because when you invert the virgin, it's a dead sheep. See it? There it is. That's the female mother goddess system. Now, again, here you go. Here is, I'm just going to show you a couple things about who they are. Uh, Beyonce, she worships the same thing. Everybody should know that Beyonce and Jay-Z, they're all in with Diddy. They're all in together. So here's Beyonce, and she's dressed up at one of her uh, concerts uh, and photo shoots. Now watch this. Let me show you what was on Beyonce. Let me show you absolutely insane. You would have to be insane to do what she did right here. You see this right here? Now, I'm very careful when I say things like this. At least I try to be. The Lord told me to draw that in, to draw one in, to draw her dress in. Do you believe me? Why would I draw in the sequins on someone's dress? Why? You want me to draw in the sequins on her dress? Okay, so I did. So I blew this up. I can already see it. It's the Ouroboros right here. Lord told me to draw it in. Let me show you what happens when you draw it in. You see the dragon? There's the eye of the dragon. See it wrapped around? Now, you see this line right here? That's also her hair. That's the end of her hair. I could color that green right here and show you that, it, that the end of the Ouroboros wraps around all the way to its mouth. I decided to leave it because... I wanted y'all to be able to clearly see the head of the dragon right here. That is a dragon wrapped in a circle around an isotoxal star. Isotoxal means edge transitive. It basically means becoming your own reflection. Isotoxal, go look it up. Why would she have a, an isotoxal star on her dress while she's pregnant with twins with a sequined Ouroboros. Do you know how wicked and sick and evil that is? Beyonce is wicked. Look at that. That's right here, guys. Look. There it is. I drew it in. Look. And I'll slide it over for you so you can see. Watch this. That is... Watch this. There it is. No one can argue with it. There it is. That's a dragon in a circle. And see this line right here? This line right here. The bottom of her chin right here touches the bottom jaw of the dragon. So I could color that green. I want to show you guys. I just added a, a, a couple different colored greens in here. But this is all her hair. This, this is the hair. And I'm just showing you. Um, this is the continuation of the Ouroboros right here. So here, this is coming right here to the mouth right there of the dragon. There's a dragon right there, guys. I mean, no doubt that's a dragon. There it is. There it is. I'm just going to draw it in a little more. That one's not my best move right there, but right there, right there, right there. Uh-huh. There's your dragon. What's up with the dragon, guys? Why would Beyonce, you sick monster... You're carrying a set of twins and look at the dragon. You know what? Let's put let's put an eye on that dragon. Let's get like a let's get like a bright green maybe. That's where the eye is right there. That's the eye of the dragon. Now maybe let's just There it is. And there's the open mouth of the dragon. There it is. I see it. No problem. So here is the dragon eating its own freaking tail right there. 
And she's carrying her own twins, you sick witch. You witch. You evil witch. And that's who's speaking for Kamala. That's who's speaking for, uh, yeah, for Obama and these people. The sick witch right there. She endorses them because they're cut of the same cloth. Evil. See, there it is. Look at that. There's no arguing this. That is a dragon, and it's eating its own tail. And it represents the female mother goddess, which is, exa which is exactly what the corner of the Vatican is on the canopy. It's the queen of heaven. It turns into a dragon. Same exact thing she's got on her dress. See, LeBron and these people that hate white people, they're the racists. And they're the Genesis 1 folks. They are connected to her. And they're fully sold out. They're double downers. They've sold out completely to her. They hate white people. They hate good. That's it. There it is. That's not arguable because I just drew it in. Okay, I'm going to save that. I'll save that for a Beyonce. Here we go. Sick, sick, sick. Sad, man. That's pathetic. On your own freaking child. Can you imagine? That's just, that's horrible. So I'm going to upload those right now. Those are, uh, while those are uploading, I'm just going to get you guys ready. So I want to hang these people out for the public to see their true nature. What's really behind the skin? What's, what's behind Diddy? What's behind LeBron? What's behind Beyonce and all those people that, you know, worship them? They idolize these people. They're the worst of all. The ones that people idolize these days, they are the monsters in the flesh. That's why they're of the world. Whoever loves the world or the things of the world has not the love of God in them. I wore this shirt on purpose because I wanted you guys to see this. You see that? I mean, it's not just a skull with a bandana. It's an upside down skull laughing. Because that's her system. She created the house that you're in. She created it. Her. It's her house. And you came into it. And when you get converted, you surrender your temple to the Lord your God. And you offer yourself as a living sacrifice Basically, you're a martyr now, no matter what. You've offered yourself to the Lord God in her system. You get it? There it is. And it's once you see it, it's easy to understand. Now, what about, uh, like I showed you, like even the band The Cult, they talked about the mother goddess thing, and I showed you in the last video. It's a death cult. It's a cult of death. There's a band called The Cult. Maybe I can play you one little clip. Okay, so just, I want to show you how if you pay attention, you can see her everywhere. She's everywhere. She manifests everywhere. When you wake up from her trance, you can see her everywhere now. Oh, wow. But then you become toxic to her system. Why do you think they hate true believers? They'll tolerate all these people that are fake Christians. As a matter of fact, they love the fake Christianity folks. They love them. When you show up with truth, try showing the truth to people. They'll act like, oh, no, I don't want to see that. Oh, you can pretend that's whatever you want it to be. No, 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 no. The Vatican's a snake. The snake's eating a big dead sheep made up of a bunch of angels that are melting into semen. I love you in Christ, but that's what it is. And there's a big insect harvesting the semen. That's all there is to it. That's what it is. It's all been drawn in. So they can pretend that's not what it is, just like Obama can pretend that Michelle's not a dude with a penis. You can pretend all you want, but that doesn't mean when the Lord God comes, your pretending is going to help you because it's not. It'll stand as a witness against you. All liars, all those that love it and live it the lie, whoremongers, fornicators go into the pit. That's what it says. So if you haven't repented of that, then you're slated for destruction. And I don't want you to be destroyed. I want you just to turn back to the Lord. Just say you're sorry. I'm sorry. It's not 
Well, I say it's not that hard, but it is. Because it took me 40 years to get to the point where I'm like, I'm waving the white flag. I deserve my punishment. Just I deserve it. I've done all these things I shouldn't have done. And now, you know, even though I made a crap load of money and thought I got everything I was supposed to get, cars, houses, girls, whatever. It's like it's empty. It's vacuous. That's why the Bible says, what should it profit a man if he gains the whole world? I mean, the whole world. But you lose your soul. It's like you came up empty. So if you got the whole world, but you lost your soul. Well, let's see, LeBron, what'd you get? You got a bunch of millions of dollars for throwing a round ball through a circle. Okay. So you got a lot of money for that. You probably got a lot of different girls. Uh, you got a lot of cars, houses, whatever. But guess what? Your soul's done. You're done. It's over for all these guys. They all They all sold out to get their stuff. And now all that will bear witness against them. Okay, ready? What are the odds? Okay, here's an image of a machine like you go in. This is love removal machine. I'm only going to play two sets of lyrics. This used to be one of my favorite bands of all time. I was like the Colt, man. Those guys rock. But just listen to the words. I fell from the sky upside down. Boy, do all those things that you do to me, if you know what I mean. That's what we're in trouble for. <laughs> it's like, what do you think we're in trouble for? For doing all the things that we did to her. Just saying. We're in her system, in her flesh. And we have to pay the price now, and we can't pay it. So she gets your soul as forfeit. And now I'm going to show you, these are the ones... These are the these are the people that, you know, make rules in society. These are the people that are connected to politicians and those people that tell you what's what and what you're supposed to do. And they they project their stuff onto you. You see here. Here is uh, LeBron on Vogue. I just made it a little bit easier for you to see why they centered him up between the O and the G. That was to make devil horns. And they put Giselle Bunchen in his arms. And it says the perfect fit. This is just representing Genesis 1 impregnating Genesis 2. Black impregnating white. That's why they did it. The devil impregnating Eve as a representation. What do you think that is? The perfect fit. That's stupid. Give me a break. And they put the O there and like that. No. You know what 87 is? I already know. 87 in the Bible means incessantly and without remission. Because that other race, they never stop grinding. That's it. That's what they do. They're always trying to destroy the male energy within the system. The angelic essence. When I say male energy, that means angelic essence. The sheep, all the same. And, you know, here, the, here these guys are. I mean, there they are. You know, there's Diddy, LeBron. Put Oprah in there. Uh, what do they all have in common? Well, let's see. Uh, just like uh, Beyonce, hey, no big deal. I'll make a dress with an Ouroboros right there. 
and the virgin. See, there's the queen. There's the mother goddess they worship, Izili Dantor. And there's the Ouroboros in an isotoxal star on her pregnant stomach, on her pregnant belly. Uh, and look, here it is. Here's what's going on. There you go. Tell me that's not sick. Someone tell me that's not as evil as it gets. You made a dress representing the serpent system cannibalizing your own baby? Beyonce, sweetheart, God have mercy on you. You're done. There it is. Look, there it is. Did you get all the money you wanted? Did you get the cars? Did you get the lifestyle? Okay, well, now let me tell you what you're going to get. You're going to get the judgment of the Lord God Almighty. Now, here is the same thing on Diddy's back, the Izili Dantor. I showed you in the last video. So here it is, right here. There it is. The same thing they worship. But now, here's the part that I need to make sure everybody knows. If you're part of her system and you haven't been converted, then she owns you and whatever it is you're doing, she's the one operating through you. Well, if you get converted like I did, well, when I looked over my shoulder at what I had done in my past life, like my artwork, how did I, how did I do the Bible in metal? Like I carved angels coming down from heaven, having sex with human women. What a weird thing to put in your artwork. If you never read the Bible, <laughs> I was like, how did I do it? Well, she was running me. But then once I got converted and I looked at my own artwork, I was like, what the hell, dude? Are you kidding me? But then I was able to see all their stuff. It's like you see back there in the corner. Those are T-Rexes on the Obama presidential portrait that Kahinde Wiley did. Twin T-Rexes. Why? Well, that would suggest he is the fulfillment, the twin fulfillment of the tyrant lizard king. That's why. Because he's the incarnation of that. Now, here you go. Watch. Here's a part you need to see, and you need to see it with your own eyes so you don't fall into the trap. But I'm praying that maybe somehow, somehow, you know, Donald Trump and his family, they, they seem like much more moral people than... uh. We, would you pick uh would you pick uh Hunter Biden uh to watch your back or would you pick uh, uh Trump's uh uh oldest kid what's his name Eric Trump I think I think Eric Trump's got a little more dignity and a little more class and a little more trustworthiness don't you yeah it's just kind of like this family or that family the Biden family to watch your you know your preteen daughter or would you rather have the Trump family watch your preteen daughter just saying. Okay, but it doesn't matter if you're all part of the same system. That's the point I'm getting to. So, you know, even though it may look like, oh, well, you know, she'd be safer over at the Trump house than they would be over at, you know, Diddy's house. Well, let me show you what's going on. Revelation 9. Revelation chapter 9, y'all should read all of Revelation 9. It's about the bottomless pit, and he opened the bottomless pit, and out of the pit there came smoke, and out of the smoke there came locusts, right here. There came locusts upon the earth, and to them was given the power of scorpions. It says a scorpion from its sting to pierce. It says men will seek death and will not find it. They will desire to die, but death will flee from them. And the only thing that won't get stung by those scorpions is those that have the seal of the living God. Those that have the seal of God on their foreheads. Okay. And it was given that they should not kill them. So it's not going to kill you, but they should be tormented. Look at the word torment. To torture. Does that sound painful? What well, says pain, toil, torment, toss, and vex? That's what it says. From the same as 939 through the idea of going to the bottom. 
That is by analogy, torture and torment. So from the pain of a sting of the scorpion, they'll seek death, but they won't find it. They'll desire to die because they're being tormented, tortured because they're in so much pain and they're vexed. Well, imagine a whole population that all of a sudden, ah, I mean, if the sky turns black and there's locusts everywhere and people are getting zapped and they're, I mean, what is that going to look like? Have you noticed how many, like, series there are, like The Walking Dead and all these series that are coming out now that literally are manifesting exactly what that might look like? I, I've been looking over Corey's shoulder at some of the series and some of the stuff that comes on, and it's crazy. It It's manifesting her system what's going to happen. You can see it. I put some video clips in some of my other videos about them opening the portal and this, you know, this dimension that's coming into our dimension. It's just pure evil, and it is. So what we have to look forward to is this. If you haven't been converted... You better really listen. So the scorpions right here, the scorpions, which are the locusts, see? The scorpions, the locusts, they're, they're one and the same. They had a king over them. So the, now y'all know that the Egyptian goddess of fertility is a scorpion called Serket, right? Seen it? Serket, it's a female. She's got boobs and legs like a scorpion, but she's half naked down to her waist. And then it becomes a scorpion. Hmm. Female energy from the pit. They had a king over them. Now you better pay attention here. In the Greek tongue, the name of the king of the scorpions and the locusts is the name Apollyon. Right here. See it? Please say this out loud. Please say that name. Satan, a destroyer. To fully destroy, to destroy fully see your complete destruction has not happened until you end up in their dimension so when your body dies boom full completion of your destruction right now you're savable you unless you sold out like diddy and kevin hart kevin hart has a i, I looked at kevin hart and he's got like a, a food chain of like stores out there, I think in California, called Eat Your Heart Out. It's cannibalistic. Eat Your Heart Out. Well, you know, he closed them all down all of a sudden, real quick sale because all the Diddy stuff came out. They're all connected. All these people are in bed together. They're all part of the same cloth. They're cut of the same cloth. Birds of a feather flock together, right? Yeah, they do. So anyway, here's the point. Say that word, Apollyon. Apollyon is who? Satan. And Apollyon masquerades as the mother goddess in the system. Okay, twin female energy from the pit comes up and starts a host body system. We'll call it the house, the dungeon. Angels come into their dungeons and they don't know what's going on. They have no idea who they are, where they are, what's going on. That's why your identity is hidden in Christ. When you turn everything, when you turn the world upside down and you see the truth, you discover her. So when you're discovering her, you're discovering a serial killer. You're discovering the monster when you discover her. And then you're, oh my God, then you see the world as it is. You'll know the truth and the truth sets you free. You can make your plea and your apology. And then you'll get converted from a superhuman angel demon spirit. Because that's what the Bible says you have. You have a superhuman angel demon spirit. And it will convert you. The Lord will convert you from a superhuman angel demon right here. The prince of the power of the air is the spirit that works in all the children of disobedience, which is what we are. The word spirit right here, it means a superhuman, an angel, comma, demon. So the spirit that runs you before you get converted is a superhuman angel demon. Right side up, upside down. Angel right side up, demon upside down. 
sheep right side up, and demon is the serpent. And there's two different energies, male and female. Our Father, that's what saved me. When I prayed to the Lord God of heaven, and then when I said, the Hail Mary, death. So now it's been made manifest, right? It's like stupid obvious now. Okay, ready? Here's the problem, guys. Here's what the whole world's going after. See that right there? The female rival, the time of the female rival. She's part of it. He's part of it. LeBron's part of it. Kevin Hart. DiCaprio, all these people, Oprah and all them, because Revelation 9, verse 11, manifests it. Now, remember, arise, O sleeper, wake up from the dead. Now, here's Trump doing a commercial where he's walking through one of his hotels and he's saying how they use certain sleeper mattresses and how great they are. Well, that's good. But why does he have sheep with 9-11 on them? Because she was running him when he made that commercial. She owned him while he was making that commercial. 9-11. Angel of the bottomless pit. 9-11. There it is. Well, what about now? Here's a new MAGA hat that came out. You know what 4 plus 5 is? 9. You know what 4 plus 7 is? 11. If you took the outside numbers and you added 4 and 7, it's 11. Inside, 9-11. 9-11, 9-11, why would you make a hat like that? Uh, now, I don't know if, you know, Trump made it or someone else made it, but there's 9-11 on Make America Great Again. Now, here's the real problem. Here is, here is the time of the female rival tattooed on Diddy's back. Here is Beyonce. She's got an Ouroboros on her own stomach with her own twins, just as sick as it gets. And then here's a real problem. They all worship the Queen of Heaven, which is made manifest right here. I'm going to show you. There's there's her eye, her eye, her mouth. And she's wearing this headdress right here, the blue headdress. And that's really the corner post of the Vatican. It's a dragon. I made the eyes red. But let me just show you the problem we have. It's a big, 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 big problem. Especially for those that think Trump's going to come in and make everything great again. That's Trump's coat of arms. That is also the female rival. There's her eye, there's her eye, mouth, and there the horns are in red, and this is all her hair. So Trump has 9-11 on his mattress uh, commercial right here. He's got 9-11 on that. There it is, 9-11, Angel of the Abyss, Apollyon. He also has on his, he also has in his living room, and I think I have it right here. Yep. Yeah, he also has Apollo on the ceiling, and I've had this for a long time. The Lord told me to put it on the shelf a long time ago. There's Apollo riding across the sky in one of, uh, I think this is his Manhattan place right here. And so here is Apollo, like Apollyon, riding across the sky. And he has Eros and Psyche, which is the angel kissing the woman. He has a statue of Eros and Psyche, and uh, there's Eros and Psyche. He's got that same statue. Let me see. I think it's right here. Nope. I'll get it in the other image. He has, an, he has the uh, statue of Eros and Psyche, but if I take Eros and Psyche right here, there's a, there's a tattoo of Eros and Psyche. It's the same thing as Azili Dantor. Uh, there is a dead sheep. See the dead sheep right there? There's a sheep's eye. There's the nostril right there. There's the line in the mouth. There's the whole dead sheep. There's a dead sheep. So he has all the same accoutrements as the queen that's in the Vatican. So here's the queen in the Vatican. There it is. You see her eye, her eye and her mouth. But that's also, again, the dragon. If you look at the red eyes, there's the eye, the eye. Eye, eye, nose, mouth wide open. So this whole thing is a big green dragon with that being a red eye, that being a red eye. There's the horn. There's the horn. Dragon's wearing a crown. There's the nose. There's the dragon's mouth wide open. But it's also the queen of heaven. There's her eye, eye, mouth. It's the female rival. It's no different than Azili Dantor. Well, right over here, 
I'll just have to color it in a different way so you can see she is actually a locust. She is the queen of the bugs from the pit, which is Revelation 9, verse 11. What's in Trump's commercials, 9-11? What's on his hat, 9-11? There's no way out of this. See, every tree, you can tell every tree by its fruit what it manifests. However, however, see, before I got converted, before my eyes turned single, I was doing the same thing Trump's doing. I, I was manifesting the angel of the abyss, a twin female energy. It's in my artwork. I can show it to you. I mean, I when I saw what I had done before I got saved, I was like, how the hell did I do that? Well, it could be the same way for Trump. But I can guarantee you Trump's not a double downer because they wouldn't be able to orchestrate the hate campaign towards him. But it looks like he's this. But he may have gotten converted after, you know, the attempt on his life. A lot of people, I mean, there's a lot of lunatics. Oh, that was such a fake thing. It's like, really? Some of the stuff people come up with is pretty crazy. But anyway, um, if you look at the the overall arching reality of every tree you can tell by its fruit, well, you have to admit, Donald Trump tried really hard to help people out, didn't he? Sure he did. He wasn't a sellout to the establishment, was he? No, he was hated. Have you ever seen anybody be attacked in court like that guy was attacked? Have you ever seen anyone win all those court cases because it just everything they threw at him wouldn't stick because they made a bunch of fake BS charges? Isn't it crazy that they always say they come up with some some woman that says, oh, he raped me in an elevator? Did y'all ever hear what Gene Carroll said to uh, Anderson Cooper? She was on Anderson Cooper's show. And Anderson Cooper was in interviewing the lady that said she was raped by Trump. And she literally said these words. She goes, oh, well, he didn't physically rape me. Like, and you don't have to rape. You don't have to touch someone to rape them. <laughs> Anderson Cooper was like, what? She goes, yeah, it, he he raped me. It was more spiritual. So is that fair to send someone to prison or to take a bunch of their money and say, oh, well, she said he spiritually raped me? You know, I had a lunatic tell me, oh, Jonathan Cleck, yeah, he, he spiritually raped me. I'm like, you're a sick freak. I've heard the same crap about me that I spiritually raped someone, and she just happened to be a twin, female. Yeah. I was like, oh, you mean what, what, you, what you meant to say was, I pulled the veil off you, and you're naked, and you're exposed now, is what I did. And I'm going to keep on doing it. Because she, right here, see, the, the female rival that makes the host body system, she is the rival of the Lord God. She makes the body, so it's like she's God of this world. But the Lord God is the the God above and above everyone, because He made her. Do you understand? That's what the big battle's about. So now you know what the whole battle is about. Decide to stay whom you will serve. If the Lord be God, then serve Him. Let me tell you something. I guarantee you, He's God, because I used to be part of her, her whole thing. I was part of it, and then He called me out of the darkness into the light and he proved to me that he's been running my show the whole time so let me tell you who god is l the almighty god and he came into the system as imanu l with us is l with us is l okay now they are manifesting to a degree that's mind-boggling but please don't put your trust in the world you know getting better under you know because donald trump's president because that's his coat of arms Here's the queen on the corner of the, you know, of the corner of the canopy in the Vatican. And it's the dragon and it's the female rival. The same as this. It's no different. And when you get down to it, it's all no different than the Diddy's back because it's the same thing. It's the, the serial, I, I'm sorry. It's the hidden serial killer in, in the whole system. There she is. She's got my back. Just like Diddy said. She's got his back. Male looking one way, her watching his back. And they, they, they're they connected. These people are connected. They are all cut of the same cloth. And I guarantee you they all pick up phones. And if they need help, they'll help each other. Because they're all part of her system. And 
what is her system? Locust from the pit, 9-11. That's why the stuff with the commercials with Trump are very, uh, you know, enlightening. It should make sure that you don't start hoping for the future because Trump is in office or because he won the presidency. Guys, between now and Inauguration Day, you want to talk about the time that you should really be going like, okay, Lord, please make sure my heart's right before you. Please make sure I'm ready. Now's the time. Her stuff is on everything. This this stuff is everywhere, all day, everywhere, all the time. So you're in her world. Uh, when I say her world, you're in her system. And if you're in a body, which you are, then the rent has to be paid on it. And the only one that can pay the bill is L, the almighty God that created her. That's the only way to get out of it. Now you can see the perfection of the system. We went against the almighty. We came into her system. So he's like, all right, that's what. So it all boils down to one thing, free will. We all have free will. I got my host body, but it's a, it's a love removal machine for sure. It's it's a love removal machine is what it is. And it just destroys you. It destroys your essence. But I got born again when I prayed to our Father in Heaven. And then as soon as I was told to say a Hail Mary, how would I even know it was wrong? I was raised Catholic. I knew it was wrong. You know why? Because the spirit that took up residency in me after water and light came down on me was the spirit of all truth. And it it was in me now. So as I said those words, I felt life and light leaving my body. That's why the Lord God told me, you must post your personal testimony on YouTube. I literally fought the Lord and I was like, no, please don't make me do that. Please, man. I'm gonna, I deal with so many psychopaths. And the Lord said, you have to. So I did. All right, guys. All right. Thanksgiving is, is here. I pray that you have a just, I pray that you're at peace. I pray that your Thanksgiving, you realize how blessed you are, that I would be happy. Honestly, I would with a sandwich, I would be happy with whatever. It's not how much or whatever. Uh, it's just, if you've got the Lord, if you've been converted, you have everything. You've overcome the world. The world. You've overcome the whole world, you guys. It's like, oh my gosh. So, give thanks to what you have and what was done for you. What was done for you on that cross. The work of the cross. There's no greater gift. All right, guys. Let's do the bear hug cult right now. This always represents every one of you guys. I love you. I look at your pictures. When I go through my email, when I go through my uh, comments, I, I look at you. I try and make contact with, if your picture's there, okay, this is who you are. I read your comment. And this is for every one of you. I love you guys in Christ. That's, that's why when we had the get together at Night Under the Stars, where everybody went into park, I got to stand there and every car that pulled up, I got to hug everybody that pulled up, everyone that wanted a hug. I don't, I think pretty much everybody was ready for a hug. I think maybe one did it. Anyway, I love you guys in Christ, man. Peace and grace. We are on our way to bigger and better. We're about to go to a dimensional change. We're about ready to leave our bodies. We're about ready to be set free. Can you imagine being set free and all you've ever known is your prison body? That's it. We Eye has not seen. Ear has not heard. Neither has it entered into the heart of man what God has prepared for those who love him. I love God. Now, I fear God because I see how in control he is. Yikes. And when I've read the Bible now, and I see that the Bible, the Word of God is so powerful, so perfect, and it is the sword of the Spirit. And all these people like LeBron and Diddy, they can't come up against the Word of God. They're nothing. 
They are just like the Bible said. Are you not children of the adulterer and the whore? A seed of falsehood. That's what they are. They're nothing special, but they sure like to act like they are, don't they? All right. I love you guys in Christ. All right. Peace and grace. I hope you guys have an awesome day tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to try and be out here as much as I can, showing you guys as much as I can. So anyway, peace and grace.